Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we've got Craven and Symbiote Supreme in the arena. This is round one. Craven is the last new champion we're going to get this year. Now for this arena, uh, round one, I did not go for Craven. Uh, I just went for the one to five percent in both the arenas, and next round. I'll be picking up that Craven. So far, I've gotten every single champion this year. So Craven will be the last one. Once I get uh, Craven, I can say that I got every new champion of 2021. Uh, I had that kind of as my goal uh, from the beginning of this year. All right. Now, as you can see, we have this five star shard celebration arena, and I'm almost there. Now, what I had been doing. I've been running mainly my one stars. Every time my one stars came off cooldown, I would run my one stars through. I ran a few uh, two stars as well. And we're almost there. We've got uh, six days, well, four days now um, to go, just a little less than five days to go. And uh, I haven't even started on the four star uh, shard celebration. Now, I'll probably try to knock that out today because the arenas are over and I don't do the Sunday arena and these arenas are way, way more profitable. Okay, now in the summoner trials in this last one, I did not go to the very, very final milestone. But because we have so many units in the uh, five-star shard celebration arena, I don't feel like I've missed out. Okay, so <clears throat> I didn't really push hard in that arena, waited, and then uh, last minute I just put up enough for uh, the second to the last milestone. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look here. All right, so I got the 1% to 5% there. I still got the 1% to 10% in the Summoner Trials. I just didn't hit that final milestone. And we got the 1% to 5% in the Craven arena as well. All right, so first, let's take a look at the leaderboards in the uh, basic arena. That's Symbiote Supreme here. And let's see if anyone that we recognize got the uh, six-star. Consigliere, congratulations, uh, rank 17, not bad. Now, Symbiote Supreme, some people asked me about Symbiote Supreme, and he's still good. The main place where I use Symbiote Supreme myself was against the champion in uh, Act 6. And I still feel that he is the best option, or at least one of the best options for the champion. I've watched uh, other uh, YouTubers like Metal Sonic Dude uh, solo the champion with a variety of other champions. Um, the champion has been nerfed a little bit. So there are more champions now that are uh, perfectly viable for him. But when I did it the first time, I used Symbiote Supreme. He wasn't even all the way ranked up. He was like rank four, five star rank four. Okay. So um, he's still good. If you need to shut down someone who relies on a few buffs, He's great. So uh, if you don't have him as a six star, he's worth picking up. Um, I don't think he really needs to be awakened. And uh, his awakened ability, uh, once you get his sig level up there, and he does have okay prestige these days, but what his sig ability does is the uh, stagger, He'll put a stagger on your opponent, and the higher the sig level, uh, the shorter the cooldown. And at max sig, basically, you're going to be guaranteed a stagger. As soon as one stagger comes off, the other one will go on. And, you know, that is what you can get with max sig. So um, he doesn't need it, but it's helpful if your RNG isn't, you know, uh, in your favor when you're fighting which can happen. Each phase of Symbiote Supreme has a different uh, chance to place a stagger. 
So having a guaranteed stagger is helpful in some of the fights, but he's still pretty niche, you know? All right, so that was uh, the top 100. Those are the uh, summoners that got um, Symbiote Supreme as a six-star round one. So let's see who is Mr. or Mrs. 101. Mr. Chaos. I'm sure your emotions are in chaos right now. I'll bet they are very chaotic. Uh, you have my condolences, man. All right, let's see who else we got here. You know, um, if I were the way I used to be, uh, grinding for any champion I didn't have, I probably would go for Symbiote Supreme. I don't know what he went for, but I don't think he would go very high. I believe I could uh, pick up that six star. But uh, in front of me, I have the Hercules grind. Hercules is coming out next month in this arena right here. And I think he's going to go crazy. And I really want him. So I will, of course, wait for um, round two, which means I won't have any way to awaken him. Now, I should be able to open up two more uh, featured. Now that I saw Kabam gave us, you know, so many in that arena, 10,000 uh, six-star shards. Um, and we've gotten shards in some other places as well. I should be able to open up two featured six stars before the Hercules arena. Uh, so if we pull them from there, beautiful, you know, um, I might still end up, even if I pull him, might still end up grinding for him for the do, you know, but, uh, we'll see, uh, that trade in store. And I know you guys have heard about it and seen it. Um, I'm not a, a big fan of what they did with the awakening gem, you know, um, I'm happy for those who were able to get the gem that they wanted. Um, I watched BG, who's also going to be going for Hercules in the arena, and he was able to trade in and get a uh, Cosmic. So he has a way to awaken. Uh, I've been playing this game for a long time, and I had five generic five-star um, awakening gems, but I used a couple of them some time back, on, I think, some uh, trophy champions. And when I saw this, I was just like, really? You, you're saying you don't want us to hoard these things, and yet now you've made it so that it's very difficult, if not impossible. And I, I might show you guys what I've done already in the trading store, but I've used all of the four-star generic awakening gems. You can do it like five times to get a five-star... Uh, Awakening Gem Crystal, I've used all of those. And I don't have three of any. So I can't get two more five-star Awakening Gems. How am I going to do it? What other way can I do it? You know, what crystal can I open? What what arena can I go in? What, what you know, um, so, you know, and, and uh, don't mention the Abyss. And I don't know. That just didn't seem uh, very well done to me. So I'll most likely miss out on getting an Awakening Gem, a chance to awaken uh, a champion, because uh, really any class would be great. If I could get um, a Cosmic, that'd be great. But I would have rolled every one of them trying to get a Cosmic for Hercules or a skill. For Nick Fury. Any of the ones other than that, I would have still had a use for, you know, but I, I can't get it. You know, there, there's just no way for me to do that right now. All right. Enough of that ranting. <clears throat> Here we go. Um, this is the featured Craven. He looks fun. So I'll be most likely ranking up the uh, five star and uh, playing around with him a little bit. But he looks fun. Uh, I've fought him. Uh, slice him. Congratulations, man. Uh, I've fought him in, uh, you know, the Cavalier uh, difficulty. And he was a pain. 
uh, in clearing it, I've already 100 percented uh, the last chapter because, you know, I like to work backwards. Um, I never got a one shot. I got close. You know, when I say I got close, uh, one of the fights, he had 2% health left when he got me. OK, he, he trapped me and then just pop, pop, pop. And I was done. Uh, Samuel, congratulations. So uh, a lot of it was the nodes, of course, uh, that made him more difficult. That's the way it usually is. Uh, the nodes make them seem a lot more powerful than they are. Uh, but he did seem fun. He still seemed fun. Uh, Moneyhead, congratulations, man. So uh, I will try uh, to pick up that five star, uh, rank him up. ID Slim, congratulations, and have fun. Man, y'all are going to have some fun with that six star uh, Craven. And of course, as usual, initially, um, he's going to probably do well on defense. I don't know um, how he'll do without the nodes of the Cavalier difficulty, um, but just the unfamiliarity of it, that will make him you know, somewhat of a challenge, you know, unless you get used to fighting him. So we'll see. We'll see how he goes uh, if I have to fight him in there. Uh, Rim in the Rock, congratulations. Um, but yeah, he, he doesn't look like he would be really, really bad, but we won't know until we get him in there on some of those nodes in the Alliance War. And I know that we're going to have, um, or we have new nodes. So there's no telling. There's no telling. All right, so those are all of the summoners who have gotten a six-star Craven. All right, let's see who is Mr. or Mrs. 101. Ask for Elaine. I'm so sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. That's got to hurt. Um, let's see who else we see here. Oh, man. I don't know what the scores were. So it's really important, more important than in round two, to uh, post up your scores uh, in the comments because that'll help people who are planning uh, to go for uh, Craven round two. Wanja, I see you. Um, it'll help them. You know, if, if the cutoff is too high, you know, some folks are like, you know what, I, I can't do it. Uh, Black Gamer, I see you. Uh, Six Minnow oh Nine, I see you. Um, but yeah, this this I'll be going for the five star. That that's all I got to say. I have yet to go for a six star in uh, this arena, and I won't while it is in this form. Just won't do it. Those scores, not interested. Uh, Hercules went crazy when he was in this one. Now he's going to be back in the basic. And now I'm going to try to pick him up there. All right. Let's get down to the end here. Consigliere, I see you. I see you. Okay. And that is going to do it, guys. So thank you all for uh, watching the video. Again, leave a comment below. Let me know what score you put up, what rank you got. Um, it's really helpful. Um, it's helpful to me as well, even though I tend to put up the same score. But if I find out that the cutoff was higher than the score I normally put up, then I'm going to put up an even higher score. So it really helps when I know what the cutoff was uh, last round um, for round one, that is. All right. So that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. You know, are you entertained? Take care and you all have a blessed day.